Hi friends, welcome to Civil Architecture Tutorials. Today's subject is what is called staggering in a column, column lapping, or why to provide it and how to provide it and what are the problems associated with the staggering and how to solve the staggering. Okay, so what is called staggering? Staggering is providing the joints or the lapping in a column at different different areas. Okay, those who are in the site or those who are uh, doing the construction uh, at site that knows it well because they are seeing it in all the projects. So why we have to provide the joints at different different points instead of giving it a, at a particular uh, line in a column and why the joint is coming in a column because we know the length of the steel is 12 meter which is available at site and we cannot use the length of the steel as it is we have to cut it sometimes so that we have to go for joint that is a must because when one member goes to the another member one column to the another column in in a second floor or a third floor as it goes we it is always impossible to go without any joint the total length is 12 meter so we have to go for joints joints can be by lapping that is providing one uh, bar over the other like this and or it can be by welding or it can be by coupling couplers so these three things we can use usually we are going by lapping only it is up to 36 mm uh, dia of bar we can we can go for lapping beyond 36 uh, mm if the dia of the bar increases then the is code says that you have to either go for welding or coupler, coupler. so now we will go into detail into it so when we are going for lapping, lapping between one member and the other member like this vertical lapping, how the load is transferring from the top bar to the bottom bar. As per the IS code, when the load, the first load comes to the top bar like this, from where? From the slab and the beam, it transfers to this bar and this bar then transfers it to the concrete concrete section like this upper bar concrete and then that force will transfer from the column concrete to the lower bar it is not transferring directly as we think so as from the is code says that the vertical load comes through the uh, upper bar transfers to the concrete and then the concrete transfers to the bottom bar that is the mode of transfer of loads in a lapping uh, section in a column okay so that is the procedure that is the mechanism of load transfer but if it is a coupler it is directly transferring from the first bar to the bottom bar because there is a coupler this around 50 mm length and this transfers directly to the bottom bar so that you have to note the difference between coupling and lapping lapping transfers the force from the first bar to the concrete from the concrete to the bottom bar but in coupling is directly transferred from the first bar to the second bar but in welding it is not transferred like that because when you weld a bar the tensile strength will change the property of tensile uh, strength or is uh, the property itself will change so it is not advisable to go for welding but the is code says that if you go for flash butt welding it is okay no issue so either if you are compelled to weld it then you have to go for flash bulb weld flash butt weld okay but we prefer this uh, coupling uh, system why i will explain it so now again coming to the lapping length lap length see if this is a slab and this is the column and this is a slab okay as we know there are two zones in a column where you can provide and you cannot provide the lap so the column entire column is divided into zone a and zone b the topmost part and the bottommost part of a column is zone a which is l by 4 and the in between part which is which comes in the middle of the column is l by 2 that is this that is zone b okay and if you divide the center of the column is that is if it is h by 2 the center will be 0 the bending moment diagram is like this maximum bending moment will be at this side and this side not in the center center at the correct center it will be zero bending moment that's why 
we are providing lab labbing only in zone b which comes in the center okay now you understand why we are providing lab only at center why they are telling that don't provide lab in the zone a or zone a at the top or zone a at the bottom so there are two zone a comes in a single column top and bottom and in between section is zone b so that's why we are providing lab length in the zone b only for lapping we know we have to provide a joggle which comes in the ratio of 1 is to 6 like this joggle bar so that the load transfer from here will transfer directly to the, this bar which comes on top of it okay like this we have to provide and according to the is code we should provide staggering in this way see this is a section of a column and there are you can see one two three four vertical bars coming here you see the staggering staggering means the arrangement of joints of two bars in a column at different different areas or different different lines you see now this uh, lap is come, come, comes at here the second lap comes at here then the third lap comes at here and the fourth lap, fourth lap comes at this area it is not in the same line why can't it comes in the same line because the lapping length is kind of joint if in the joint what is what how it is happening the whole stress is maximum the stress is maximum at the joint so if the all the joints are comes in a straight line mm, then we can see that in the same straight line the stress will be maximum in a column and that will be the first point of breakage which will happen to the column if the load exceeds after a particular point so in order to avoid such things in order to distribute the stresses in joints we have to provide it at different different points one two three four like that so if this comes in the zone b the first point comes here then second down third comes here fourth comes here so but there is something more the is code is adding to this is456 is adding to this how to provide the laps between two laps we should keep at least a distance of 300 mm that is between this lap and this lap this is small good this lap and this lap see there's a clear distance of 30 300 mm should be provided i am not telling you about that between these two laps it's not like that from the end point of this to the end point of this there should not be any lap in between it should be clear that should be also uh, be very sure about it that we are have to provide 300 mm clear distance not from here or here it should be clear distance between the laps that is first point then the second point is that from the center of this lap to the center of the lap should be more than 1.3 times the lap length if this is the lap length and from this center to this center of this lap should be 1.3 times the lap length of this one or this one that also should be noted now you know what is called staggering and uh, how to provide the staggering in a column. Uh, in between I want to say is that splicing is also another word which is used in IS code for lapping. So lapping is also called splicing. Okay. So now we discuss about the lap length in a column. How to provide laps. Welding, I said that is not much advisable because unless you provide the flash butt weld, it is okay. Otherwise, don't go for welding. So, what to do for bigger dia? Bigger dia, if welding is not possible, like I said before, we have to go for couplers. Coupler is a thing which is made up of high grade steel. It is also called EN8D material, which is of high grade when comparing to the TMT steel. Okay. So, in coupler, as I said before, the vertical load is directly transfers from the first load from the first bar to the second bar which is below to it directly so it doesn't need any lap so in that case what's happening is that since the load is directly transferring there is no need of any lap we are actually gaining a lot of steel in it economically that is uh, really in advantage point when coming to the lap length it is not about the lap uh, length of a steel bar that I am telling but also uh, another steel also comes into it how it comes is that in the coupler section I according to the IS code it says that we can provide coupler even in zone A 
So before the IS code says that we cannot provide any lapping in zone A, only zone B is uh, safe and economical. So is safe to uh, zone B is safe to provide lapping length. But if you are using the coupling, then you can even go for zone A. That is here also you can provide coupling, here also you can provide coupling, no issue. It doesn't matter because the load is transferring directly to it. You are saving a lot of steel in coupling. Why it is that we are not going for any lapping? So in that case, the steel coming in this area or lapping area, we are saving. That's one thing. <clears throat> the second type of saving is that if it is a multi-story building, suppose the steel which comes from one floor to the top floor, it, maybe it is 18 mm, okay? And the steel which we need to provide in the top should be uh, around 16 mm, say. There is a 2 mm difference between these two steels. So that will depend upon the uh, weight also. If the 18 mm steel have got more weight than 12 mm steel. So if it is a coupling, we are providing then a uh, lot of steel we can save in uh, apart from this lapping tube so that the bar which comes from the bottom bar can end at any any area or at any time because the zone a is not a problem in coupling so wherever it ends from there the coupling can start so that means this uh, steel bar comes from the uh, bottom part can be at any area and we don't need any replication or a duplicate steel bar to come to that uh, zone B area because zone B area may be in the middle of that uh, column so uh, in the in the lapping area if it is by the lapping area then it have to reach up to zone B area but for uh, coupling we don't go to need to go for up to the zone B if it is in zone A also it is okay with the coupling so by that way we are getting a lot of steel for one bar so in a column, how many bars will be there? Maybe 15 or 25 bars will be there. So if it in a one bar, if you are gaining uh, like this, maybe it's for, for example, two kilo for one bar, maybe if it is for 20 or 15 bar, 15 into two, around 30 kilo, you are saying per column. Understand what I said? So you are gaining a lot of steel and it is more economical than going for lapping. And lot of uh, labor is also is saving in, in it and we don't need any binding wire for that so in many cases and most of the major companies are not even going for lapping nowadays they are going for coupling only because of these advantages so with this I am ending this today's video hope you understand the staggering of uh, bars in a column how to do it and where to do it the different zones in a column and what are the problems associated with the staggering and how to solve the problems associated with that so i will come with a new video with a new subject till then goodbye so please subscribe share and like my channel thank you very much